Now there's something you don't see every day. Can't explain what the hell's going on here? Sorry, who are you? Name's Jake. Jake Wilson. Chairman of the Diamond City Council. I was just on my way up to confront our ex-butterball in chief here when I heard the commotion. Only caught the last part of that conversation, the jeepers. So he really was a synth. I, I know this is a long shot, but you didn't happen to get a recording of that confession, did you? You're in luck. Got it right here. No fooling. Must be my lucky day. I don't know what sort of voodoo mind trick he used to pull that confession out of McDonough, but we could sure use someone with that kind of savvy around here. You willing to help us out? Depends. What's in it for me? Just trust me when I say being a friend of the council has its perks. Now let me explain the particulars. Sure, McDonough was crooked as a barrel of fish hooks, but he wasn't the one necessarily running the show. What do you mean by that? It's those upper stands bastards. Some of them are slicker than a slop jar. So rotten they've got more ways to fleece the public purse than a room full of pre-war lawyers. And if they get their way, McDonough's replacement could be even worse. I could use specific details about these guys. The Latimers and the Codmans. Everyone knows these families are dealing off the bottom of the deck. But they're smooth operators. And we haven't been able to find any dirt that sticks to them. That's where you come in. The info I'm about to give you might provide some leads. Maybe you'll find something that we overlooked. But, this is confidential, so keep it on the down low until you find some hard evidence. You got any questions before we get started? What do you want with Diamond City? In a nutshell, potable water, public education, occasional trash service, and reasonable trade policy. We can kiss all of that goodbye if the wrong puppet from the upper stands gets into power. Why involve me in this? Let's just say the job might involve some breaking and entering. Not exactly official council business if you catch my drift. Why not just ask Diamond City Security to help? Huh. You've got quite the sense of humor. Those guys are straight up security theater. They can't even keep the front gate shut for crying out loud. I mean seriously, they've got one job, right? Truth is, Diamond City Security is mainly a jobs program to keep those unemployable degenerates from robbing the local populace. Although that might be giving them too much credit. If you want to know the truth, it's a sheriff's department that does most of the real work in keeping this town safe. But you're not going to see them. They do military right. They keep out of civilian affairs and stay outside the wall. They haven't exactly been on the best of terms with the mayor's office recently. Well, that's a can of worms we can open another time. I'm ready to get to work. What I'm giving you here is a holotape. It's got the minutes of the most recent Diamond City Council meeting. Our stenographer's prose isn't quite as exhilarating as an issue of Cat's Paw magazine. But if you read between the lines, you'll see what I mean about the Latimers and the Codmans. Let me know as soon as you find something we can use against them. Let's have a look at this Diamond City Council minutes. This water purity port is linked to a small quest where you have to clean out the water at Diamond City because there are dead people and uh, trash deep in the water so you have to clean it out. The public school issue is about a woman not happy funding public education and says why should I care how dumb your kids are. I'm pretty sure you know where this is going. Gate. The council has made a formal inquiry to Diamond City Security as to why the front gate is so often being left open. Trash service. It basically says that Diamond City is a disgusting city, there is trash everywhere, whereas in cities like Far Harbor, Providence, DC, even Good Neighbor, at least they pretend to clean things up, and Diamond City is just full of garbage. The Good Neighbor part is a reference to the cleaning lady that actually cleans nothing, pointed this out in one of the previous videos. The cleaning lady in Good Neighbor is referenced several times in depravity mode, you'll see it's funny. 
The final part is decoder for Diamond City Occupational Licensing Agency. This is about letting the rich people in Diamond City keeping the power and even gaining more power by preventing the poor people from getting better living conditions. What is interesting here is that uh, this part of depravity mode is not about the main character doing bad things and stuff like that. It's more about the whole uh, city and it's council and so it's about politics and we are gonna clean up the city basically but first we need to find out some clues and evidence about who did what this is what i like about you wellingham you know what you are not trying to be anything other than helpful uh, not like those people down there lower field workers always want what they haven't earned Sweet. A classic trope of social inequality. By the way, when lockpicking, you have to make sure you are in hidden status. Note from Matimer. Clarence, if your wife would be willing to introduce the decola legislation at the next council meeting, this could be a mutually beneficial arrangement. As I am sure you are aware, under the proposed decola rules, only special certified farms will be able to supply meat into Diamond City in order to promote public health and avoid atrocities such as iguana beets. Make sure to pause the video to read this letter. So basically, like I said before, this is about political play and uh, gaining advantage by maintaining a market monopoly. So they have the money, the political power, they have everything, almost everything. So this was the Codman residence. Let's get out of here and uh, sneak up on in the Latima residence. It should be located upstairs. Now we know that the Latimer family and Codman family are linked, are involved. Now we need to figure out who exactly and uh, to which extent. Got it. Funny how they have a little indoor boat here and an indoor pool, if we can call it that. I'm in. So I won't read uh, all of those, only the interesting one. As always, just pause the video if you want to read. This little bit is funny because he's talking about value of hard work, while at the same time preventing people from exercising their hard work to earn a better life. Kinda hypocritical. Anyway. Here we have proof that Latimer used some kind of uh, bandit tactic in order to uh, threaten and uh, disrupt other people's business. And here he exposes his will to become the next mayor by uh, betraying McDonough. And this is about his next move. He literally says that he will attempt a coup by giving a bribe to Weathers in DC security and taking advantage of the fact that many of the security guards in DC are rather useless. It will uh, give him an opening. His plan is to have a group of raiders and super mutants attack the city. Some raiders will act as insiders, they will be undercover guards. He will then push for a new security contract with gunners that will be working for him, of course. If Diamond City security is exposed for the weakling that it is, the gunners will ultimately win the long term security contract to keep the city protected from outside threats. With Diamond City security depleted, McDonough ousted, and my role as savior in protecting the city, it should be enough to write the momentum to mayor. But two can only keep a secret if one is dead, and that's not going to be me. He will even betray his accomplices. Now the objective is to search for the traitor in the Diamond City security office. Natimer has ambitions on becoming mayor and is planning a false flag attack so he can be the hero who saved the city. Find out who he is working with in Diamond City security to leave the gate open. Hope you didn't run into any trouble getting here. 
That bridge across the river? Super mutants. Use Hope you didn't run into any trouble getting here. <clears throat> that bridge across the river? I've outlived my Super usefulness. Super mutants. Use it as an ambush point. Well, going to say something? <laughs> Let me go. Everything's fine. This is all just a misunderstanding. In the previous part, I chose to jail him. We will decide what to do with him later. For now, we have to continue the quest. Hey, you're in the paper, right? You're 200 years old. Pretty good for your age, huh? Sergeant Weathers, it's time. Please proceed. Malcolm. I seen Malcolm not you. I can't see! Yeah. I lost him! What are you looking for? Ah! 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 to make sure not to shoot any citizen, otherwise What's the whole city will turn hostile. Time's up, asshole! There you go! Yeah. This is what a Thanks for helping us fight them off. Tell me you found some evidence that explains all this. Yep, and I better get something good for all this work. So it was Latimer. That bastard. Never expected he'd go so far as hiring the gunners. Look, this can't stand. We need to retaliate. Send a clear message that nobody messes with Diamond City. What do you have in mind, exactly? Gunners Plaza. We're going to level the building. That sounds way too dangerous. Hear me out. I've studied the building's blueprints. A good buddy of mine helped design the place back before the war. All we got to do is take out the right support columns, and the whole building should come crashing down. Are you sure this will work? Heck no. I might be an engineer by training. But building demolition is as much an art and luck as it is science. Even before the war. It was hit or miss whether any given building would collapse as intended. And some of them didn't collapse at all. On the bright side, I've got a remote detonation system we can use. Also some explosive charges I scrounged up from the Diamond City strong room. Problem is, we're gonna need a lot more C4 to take down that building. Have any ideas? As luck would have it, 
I received a tip earlier today from the Sheriff's Department. Seems there's a weapons deal going down in East Cambridge, at the park northwest of the Cambridge Crater. You can hijack that merchandise. That might give us the explosives we need. Here, I'll mark the location of the park on your map. Bring some backup. Okay. Let's talk about tactics. I've heard about your various exploits. I'm not about to tell you how to do your job on intercepting the explosives. But once you've got the C4, and you've cleared out Gunners Plaza, the process is relatively straightforward. Place the explosive charges on the main structural supports, get clear of the building, and then use the remote detonator. I'll sync the detonator up with your Pip-Boy, so you can activate the detonation sequence that way. Now look, sorry to cut you short, but I've got to go deal with the fallout from this raid. A lot of folks in need around here. Let me know once you've dealt with those gunners, and good luck. I accidentally deleted the footage where I retrieved the explosive, but thankfully it is not uh, something that involves backstory, plots, or uh, dialogue. God, I hope
That's it. Now I feel cheated. Bingo. games and come out where I can see it. No wipe in the floor with you. to talk to people I don't know. Oh. <clears throat> I heard the good news. Building didn't quite level. But hey, close enough for government work. I think they got the message. Did you run into any trouble? You'd be surprised. It was as easy as pushing a button. Wish I'd been there to see it myself. Thank you again for everything. I've got one more favor to ask, though. And before you say anything, let me explain. I talked things over with the Diamond City Council. Seemed everyone's a bit nervous that we have no acting mayor at a stressful time like this. It's gonna take us a while to run a proper election. And well, we need someone tough to take over the role in the meantime. Most folks on the council are mightily impressed with how you handled McDonough, the Diamond City Raid, and the Gunners Plaza. So if you're interested, we'd like to offer you the job of interim mayor. What exactly do I have to do? Well, the council and the sheriff's department handle most of the day-to-day -day work for civilian and military, respectively. You'll have to make policy decisions here and there, but mainly, the people just need to feel secure. Like they've got someone strong and capable in charge. You think you can handle that? I assume this is a paying job. The job itself pays pretty well. But most of the real money 
It's made after you leave office. You know, giving speeches, writing books and such. Heck, you don't even have to write the books if you don't want to. Just put your name on the cover. Easiest caps you'll ever make. Absolutely. I'm in. Well then, let me be the first to congratulate you. As acting mayor, I'm giving you the key to the Diamond City Strong Room. It's where we hold our council meetings, and keep some of the city's valuables. That's good to know. Now your first job as mayor is to help us decide on punishments for the Latimer and the Cogman families. Second issue is to address our immigration policy. Given recent events, we need all the allies we can get, so it's time to revisit our stance on ghouls. There's more details on the terminal in the strong room. So welcome aboard, Mayor. And if you ever need anything, you just let me know. If you need access to the irradiated interior of the Janan building, there is a trapdoor entrance on the east side of the building. With the little time left, I'm going to show you quickly how it looks like when you're the mayor of Diamond City. I won't show all the details or the options, this will be in the next video, but uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, leave a like and subscribe, and uh, see you in the next part. Thank you.